Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the best password managers the world has off the world has to offer. Okay, uh, so let's get right into it. Number one, we have Keeper. Why I picked it? Keeper Password Manager and Digital Vault delivers an excellent experience across a ton of um, platforms and browsers. It offers top-notch features such as a robust multi-factor authentication support. Nice. The Keeper one-time share feature, uh, useful aud auditing tools, and full password histories, right? Who is this for? Everyone, especially users who have large families. The Keeper family package is a great value as it includes five Keeper Unlimited vaults. Now, I want to say that none, none of these softwares that I'm talking about are sponsoring this video. That's weird. The pros of this is it's well-designed apps and browsers extensions with cross-platform syncing. Number two, it has multi-factor authentication. Uh, three, it has secure password sharing and inheritance. Optional, secure file storage and messaging. Next, we it, it retains a full history of passwords and files. Next, we have offers a wide variety of record type templates. The cons, however, it's limited free version. Next, we have Zoho Vault. Why I picked it, Zoho Vault helps you at home and work as it includes collaboration features, syncs across all devices, has browser extensions, imports passwords from browsers, and handles multi-page logins easily. Who's it for? Budget-conscious users. Zoho Vault offers a generous free, pla uh, free plan with no limits on device syncing or pass uh, password storage. Most other password managers put tighter restrictions on their free accounts, uh, limiting the number of passwords one can store in the vault or how many devices can sync at one time. The pros are, uh, it syncs across Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS devices. Next, it supports multi-factor authentication. Next, it's accessible across all browsers on any platform. Next, it handles multi-page logins Next, it imports passwords from browsers. Next, it has a substantial free plan. The con, however, cons, however, it lacks web form filling. It's unintuitive mini password generator. Okay, so those are the two things that are the cons of that. Next, we have Bitwarden. Why I picked it? Bitwarden's free tier does not limit the number of passwords you can store or prevent you from syncing your vault across devices, no way. which many other free password managers do. The premium tier is also inexpensive and includes excellent features such as an actionable password health report, emergency access options, the ability to generate TOTP codes, and support for enhanced multi-factor authentication methods. Who's it for? First-time password manager users. Give Give uh, password management a try by downloading Bitwarden's free version of the password manager and upgrade to the paid version after learning how to use it. Some of the pros, it offers apps for all popular platforms and browsers. Next, free tier and inexpensive paid plan. Next, it supports multi-factor authentication. Next, its send sharing uh, feature is effective uh, and it's open source. The cons, however, uh, some struggles, uh, some struggle with uh, automatic, automatic capture and auto filling in testing. Ooh, I tell you what, I read that bad. Next, the multi-factor authentication via hardware keys limited to paid users. Next, the premium users only get one GB encrypted storage by default. Next, we have. 1Password, why I picked it. 1Password offers apps for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. It also has one of the best password organization systems. It supports multi-factor authentication. Who is it for? Most people will like 1Password because it is easy to use and offers plenty of security, but it does have its downsides. 1Password lacks a true password in, uh, inheritance feature and has lackluster import options. The pros. Uh, Watchtower, a password monitoring feature, is now available for mobile users. It has slick and attractive mobile apps. Next, it's intuitive password organization. Next, it supports multi-factor authentication. The cons are the form filling is clunky and unreliable. It has limited import options and it lacks password inheritance feature. Next, we have NordPass. Why I picked it? 
uh, from the team behind NordVPN. It uh, is a streamlined, easy to use service for securely accessing your passwords via desktop and mobile apps or on the web. It has added some um, notable features over time, including a data uh, breach scanner, password health report, web vault, and a password inheritance option. <laughs> Who's it for? Business account users. NordPass for Business focuses on password hygiene with various tools to help administrators see which employees have weak, reused, or old passwords in their vaults. That's a good one. The pros of this is it supports secure uh, credential sharing. Next, it supports multi-factor authentication uh, via app and security key. Next, it's mandatory multi-factor authentication option for business accounts. Next, data breach scanner and actionable password uh, health report. Uh, and it has been audited. That is a good one. The cons are it's pricier than the competition. The free version cannot be used on multiple devices simultaneously. Uh, next, we have RoboForm. Uh, why I picked it, RoboForm Everywhere has a strong form filling, uh, form filling abilities and capable password management. In an age where many uh, com uh, competing, competing, <laughs> competing products are updating user interfaces and working on ease of use, RoboForm's new web vault is a welcome addition to an already excellent product. Who's it for? Uh, hmm. Current RoboForm users, if you are already familiar with the password manager's file system, using the current version will be easy. RoboForm is a highly capable password manager, uh, through, though its menu system is not as slick at or intuitive as the competition. The pros are, it has comprehensive web form filling, it manages application passwords, it's updated and modern web vault appearance, uh, it syncs across many device types and, br and browsers. It generates strong and unique passwords by default. The cons are, it's limited importing from uh, competing products. Next, the desktop user interface can be confusing. Next, it does not support hardware security keys. So those are some of the password managers I thought were worth talking about. Do you have better ones that you wanna share? Please let me know in the comment section below. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the, hit the subscribe button. I love you, stay safe, see you on the next video.